Welcome to Quickfire Questions. This is going to be a series that we're going to try and do on a monthly basis to pe get people to know the players, uh, the coaching staff, people within the club. Doyla, delighted to be joined by yourself. Thanks for giving up your time. Thank you. Um, so you scored 41 goals in our inaugural season. We prepared 41 Quickfire Questions for you. Fans will get to know you a little bit more, maybe a few more songs about you. So we'll won't hesitate on the questions. We'll get straight into it. Perfect. Favourite film or TV programme? The Blind Side. Favourite film, yeah, unreal. Favourite meal? Takeout wise, I'm a sucker for a Chinese, I must admit, yeah. Jo Jones, you won't be happy about that, really. No, we'll keep that one quiet. <laughs> uh, a night in or a night out? Night out with the boys, yeah, it got to be. Go to karaoke song? Not many might know it, but it's uh, American Pie by Don McLean. It's a, a song me and my dad used to sing in the car when I was younger, so yeah, belt that out. Nice. Uh, favourite band or musician? Uh, Sam Fender. Good choice. Uh, favourite drink? You can have an alcoholic one in there if you want. Alcoholic? Ooh, it's got to be a gin and lemonade. Um, Non-alcoholic. Usually just water. It's quite boring, to be honest. Fair enough. Uh, favourite car? McLaren GT. That's like a Euro Millions like, bucket yeah. list car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, holiday destination? Um, Dubai. It's good to go into my brother. Uh, favourite superhero? Iron Man. Yeah, it's probably a bit of an unpopular opinion, but Iron Man, definitely. <laughs> favourite football growing up? You know what? I've actually got, I'd say, one on Ireland, which was Chris Bash Jr. He was sort of like an idol growing up. Um, and, yeah, I'd probably say United players being United fans. So, first of all, Ruud van Nistelrooy and then Ronaldo as I started growing up. Uh, favourite sport and icon that doesn't have to be football? LeBron James, oh, yeah, he's the king. Was, I knew that was coming. Uh, <laughs> what annoys you most? Timekeeping, yeah. I won't, won't mention anyone's names, but yeah, my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say players. No. To be fair. Uh, coffee or tea? Coffee. Good choice. Uh, early bird or night owl? Early bird, have to be with the training. Mm. Messi or Ronaldo? Both are unreal, but yeah, it has to be Messi. He's the go, isn't he? Favourite sports beside football? Golf, yeah, golf is unbelievable in the summer to play. Uh, best trainer in the squad? Last season I'd go for Crookie or Tom Shimon. This season so far I'm going to go with Sammy Gelling. He's just him and Pinny are at a different level. Favourite moment at FC Man so far? Has to be the playoff final, yeah. I don't think anything probably in the near future will beat that. Just three and a half thousand fans winning, winning the playoff yeah. was special. Favourite away ground? Although I haven't actually played there, I'd say West Didsbury. That was a great atmosphere. Um, so, yeah, I'd go with West Didsbury. Funniest player in the dressing room? <laughs> you got one for good reasons, one for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Whitley is just a, a unreal to be around. He's a hilarious guy. Um, and Charlie Higgins, just because he's an absolute dope, I don't even think he means to be funny <laughs> sometimes, but he's crackers. I think that one's cool. <laughs> uh, one current player in the Premier League that you'd love to play with? De Bruyne, as a striker, it has to be him. Uh, and do you have a pre-match ritual? I'm actually quite superstitious, yeah. I try and eat the same things, drink the same things on game day. Um, it's obviously a bit more difficult on away days, but yeah, I'm quite superstitious. Have you always done that? Are you at local football as well? More so in the last four or five years, it's, I'd probably say as I've took football more seriously, um, mm. trying to find the small wins. So yeah, I'd probably say like eating the right things, eating the same things, just to keep the body as as, uh, as similar every week as I can do. The best party you've ever been at? Don't know if you can class a wedding as a party, but I'm going to say um, two weddings. My brother's in Italy last year, and uh, Steve Whitley's last year as well. They were special, special, special days. Uh, if you lived one day in someone else's life, who would it be and why? LeBron James, just to be able to dunk the basketball properly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the best goal you've ever scored? It was actually a rubbish goal, but I'd say West Didsbury um, at home, the 4 3 comeback last season. Uh, two seasons ago, sorry. Um, just for the occasion, it was unreal. Mm. And then good goals. I don't really score many, to be honest. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm a tapping merchant. <laughs> <laughs> what about locally? Locally scored a nice goal um, against Mary's um, down the bowl. It was a, a volley from about 16 yards into the side net and beat Albo's team 3-2. Yeah, I'm sure you'd be happy about that. <laughs> uh, what professional derby would you love to play in? It's tough. I, I, United fan, obviously, you want to play in like United Liverpool, but 
I'd probably say Madrid Barca just because of the fans are just insane. The atmosphere looks unbelievable. Good choice. Uh, what was your dream job growing up? Professional footballer. Yeah, it had to be. I think that was everyone's. Yeah. Didn't work out for me. No, uh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite topping on a pizza? Pepperoni. Uh, if you could have dinner with anyone from history, who would it be? Elvis Presley. He's my, oh, right. he's my dad's favourite musician, so I think me and my dad having dinner with Elvis Presley would be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Uh, a last minute penalty, who would you want on it for FCL, man? Has to be McVeigh. Other than myself, where well, I'd back myself, yeah. He's, he's cold as ice, isn't he? It's fair enough. Uh, favourite goal you've ever seen? <sighs> give us one, give us one from. Give us one from like professionally, like Premier League, and then maybe like one you've seen for FC, maybe. I would say Wayne Rooney's overhead against City. I remember watching that, obviously, on TV, and it was just unbelievable. Yeah. Um, and then also another overhead would be Luke Morris at West Didsbury. I was on, on the media, and it was just, <laughs> oh, I can't explain seeing someone that tall and that big be so dynamic in the air. It was just amazing. <laughs> but then Whitley scored five or ten worldies in the time so there's been plenty of this you kind of get used to Whitley scoring worldies so they're yeah, not yeah. as good as what maybe Luke Morris was the best piece of advice you've ever received I'd probably say yeah I would say people there's always people worse off in life so appreciate what you have nice uh, Nike or Adidas Nike who has the worst dress sense in the squad you get, you're absolutely exposing people here, to be fair. Oof, but I'm going to hammer him here. Um, <laughs> one, I would say Adam Cool. he's got some shocking dress sense. He rocked up in the airport the other day with, he looked like he was something just got out of jail. <laughs> um, and I'd say Charlie, just because he wears the same, the same T-shirt every time we go on a night out together. Fair enough. Uh, still on your bucket list to do? Skydive. No, you won't get me doing that. <laughs> uh, Favourite city? Rome was amazing, went yeah. last year and it was, yeah, just an unbelievable place. Toughest opposition you've played against? It's weird really, we, it, we haven't played against them last season, but in the first season was Abbey Hay. They came over to the bowl and we scraped a one-all draw and it was just, I just got thrown around like a rag for the whole <laughs> game and I came off thinking, what have I been in for there? Yeah. So yeah, Abbey Hay last year. Uh, the best atmosphere that you've played in? Playoff final or West Didsbury, both fair. Uh, Playoff final because of our fans, how special it was on the occasion. Uh, West Didsbury because both sets of fans were fantastic. And then finally, your ambitions for FCR, man? Individually, top goal scorer for the team um, and try and challenge for the league. And as, as a team, it's got to be top six at the minimum without getting too excited. And then, yeah, I think we're good enough to be top four.